Hi, my name is Rodney Urand, and I'm from OTS Training. In this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of the Towson WordPress theme for faculty and staff. Through Towson University's WordPress environment, TU faculty and staff can create and manage individual websites. WordPress is a self-service web publishing platform designed to be a quick and easy way to showcase your research, share ideas, house a portfolio, highlight special events, and more. To begin, you'll open up the browser of your choice and navigate to wp.towson.edu. You'll click Login or Create Your Site. You'll click Login with Towson University Net ID. Input your Towson University Net ID and password, and then click Login. WordPress will begin the process of creating your site. Now, when your site is created, you'll be taken to your dashboard. Let's go over the default features that come with the faculty staff theme. Hover over the home icon in your admin toolbar and choose visit site. Your website with the default faculty staff theme will appear. Every faculty and staff member gets the same Towson branded theme to start off with. The default name will be your username. The first page will be your home page. The home or welcome page should include a brief bio and possibly the purpose for your site. You may also include links and images. It's best to keep it simple as you can get into further detail on other pages of your site. Now you'll notice that all of your pages are empty. You can edit the content of your pages at any time by clicking the edit hyperlink. Let's show you a quick example of a completed home page. The second page is your VTI page. The VTI page houses more detailed information about your education, as well as academic and related employment. It can also contain any references to projects, awards or references to any of your published work. Here's an example of a completed VTI page. The third page on your site is your announcements page. The announcements page hosts all of your posts. This is a good place to share your course updates, pertinent news stories, links, and more with your site visitors. Here's an example of a completed announcements, also known as a blog page. The fourth page is your courses page. The courses page can contain a list of any courses you're currently teaching along with links to subpages containing course description and syllabi. Here you'll see an example of a completed courses page. And the final page is your portfolio page. The portfolio page is a great way to house pictures, audio, video, documents or links pertaining to your work. All pictures can be captioned, have descriptions and have alt text for accessibility. Here is an example of a portfolio page. The faculty member in this instance has changed it to a links page. On the right hand side you'll notice a subscribe by email function in your sidebar. This is called a widget. This feature comes with your theme by default. The subscribe by email function allows site visitors to receive notifications when you update your site content. You can customize your theme by clicking the paintbrush icon with the word customize next to it located on your admin toolbar. This will bring up a list of customizable settings. From here, you can change the title of your site, the colors on your site, and other basic features of the default theme. In fact, all of the default settings of your WordPress site can be changed and customized. You can learn more about how to make your WordPress site your own by visiting one of our other videos. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit us at towson.edu forward slash OTS training.